You can't this... wear black. What do you mean? For our reception. I was shut down. Okay. It was so uncomfortable when the two of them were fighting. To... Can you can you take threats out of that? Oh, we'll we'll figure it out. I don't like green. I don't like pink. I think it might be a little bit different for her. I wasn't expecting that, Meryl. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. I guess. My uh, best friend's reception is in five days. And Wait, what? Have I dealt with something this severe? No. Within that whole time frame, finding a new reception dress is insane. I was just like, Melanie, you can't wear this. Like, this is a joke. I don't know what I'm going to do. A bridal outfit. Bridal outfit. Yes. Right this way. My name is Meryl Taylor, and I am a sixth grade special education teacher. My fiance is Viju Paul, and we met when we were neighbors. I moved out, and we reconnected afterwards, and I kind of pursued him, and the rest is history. Hi. Yeah, nice to meet you. Meryl, nice to Meryl. meet you. Rita, nice to meet Shia, you. nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you. When is the wedding? November 28th. Okay, good. Do you have anything in mind? What are you looking for? I don't even know where to begin. Okay. <laughs> I knew nothing about Indian culture coming into this. I don't think I had a vision of what her sari was going to be like. I really didn't even know what a sari was. I had no idea what to expect. There are three basic options when it comes to Indian clothing. One is, it's like a dress. It's called an anarkali, where it's a one-piece gown with pants and a scarf. The second one is a lenga, where it's it could be a short top, a long top, and it's a skirt. This style I love. Okay, so we'll definitely look at those. And then another one is the sari. So it's one big piece of, it's seven yards of fabric that gets draped around you. This is my first time shopping for Indian clothes. It's overwhelming. <laughs> There's a lot to choose from and a lot to look at. But how does that become a skirt? Well, it's not a skirt. It's just pleated to look like that. There are no problems with fusion brides. It's just them not knowing about the outfits. Um, it's sort of like if I was shopping for a white gown, I really wouldn't know where to start. Okay, now tell me a little bit about the setting. It's wedding. a nighttime wedding in Bergen County, New Jersey. Okay. He is from South India. So I was brought up in a pretty traditional Jewish household. Well, I wouldn't say that we were overly religious, but every holiday was celebrated. Some Yiddish was spoken in the house. Uh, typical New York Jew. Being that my fiance is Indian and Christian, I think it was more of a concern of being able to blend the cultures and religions together. So this fabric, it's velour. So it's very rich, but you have to try one on and get the feel of it. It's a beautiful color. Let me ask something. Can she wear something uh, that's gorgeous? That's sorry over there. I mean, uh, the black, the black is one? gorgeous. I think my mom's gonna want me in something black and my fiance is gonna want me in some a bright color. I wouldn't it's recommend a formal, it. It's a formal Saturday night wedding. But traditionally for the bride, I wouldn't do a black or a white. Gold and black, what could be bad about it? My mom likes some crazy and funky styles. She likes to have her own spin on things when it comes to fashion. Well, it's colors of funerals, it's colors of mourning in our culture. Okay. But if the groom side is, you know, if they're okay with it, it's completely fine. Let's stick to this and then and maybe yeah. we'll see about that. Okay. Is there a price point? Do you want to keep it at some budget? What are you thinking, Mom? Um, under 500. Under 500. Um, that's a little on the, the unrealistic side. A good quality bridal lenga would be anywhere from 800 to about 1500. So the three to 500 was definitely on the lower side. Can you go up to like seven, 750, maybe closer to a thousand? Um, let's, 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 750 I think would be. Okay, so let's look at a few more. I'm willing to try a teal or okay. even a pink of some sort. Mm, no pink. Not even like a hot pink or a bright pink. It will get worse. I don't like green, I don't like pink. That's not gonna happen. I would like it to be something fun and funky and um, just something different. I'll wait out here for you. Yes. I think it might be a little bit different for her. Um, I think that she's definitely going to want me in something more of what she would pick. Wow. 
That's what I had in mind. I know what you said about the black. Could we just, could we just see her in it? Sure, I would just sure. love to see her Do you want to see it. the red or the black first? I prefer this. Hi. Oh, hey, how are you? I've always had brides who come in and be like, I ordered something online, I ordered something from India, and it didn't work out. Are you getting married? I'm not, but my uh, best friend's reception is in Hi. five days. And Wait, what? Have I dealt with something this severe? No. It's on it's Friday. Friday. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so she was supposed to have an outfit. We ordered something from India. It was custom made or whatever. And they had promised us that it would look like the picture. And it doesn't look anything like the picture. I had received it a week prior to my wedding. And it was completely different. And it was horrifying. She had sent me pictures. Like, she didn't even have words. The train was just like a piece of cloth hanging off of the lenga and I was like that's not even a train like that's just it just looks like the chunni is in the wrong place it didn't fit me right it wasn't the right color it wasn't the right design the photo that she showed me it had this huge three feet train with beautiful hand embroidery but the one she got was, was sh and now I have no lingo. So, all right, well, let's not, let's not go back to that. Let's move forward. Okay. okay. So I always love a challenge and to get a uh, lingo ready in five days. Yes, of course it's, it's a stretch, but I'm sure we'll get it done. And what did you wear for your wedding? A red I lingo? wore red, okay. yeah. The dress that I'm looking for has to have a train. Um, that's the main thing that I actually want for my reception dress because it's different. I would also like to see her wear something where she feels like a princess because I think that's what she really wanted. That's what every girl really wants. I don't know if you want to go heavier. Uh, I would like to go heavier and I don't want anything with red in it. No red accents. Yes. Is there a price point? The price range that I'm looking for is around 2500 Anything more, I can't because of the amount of money I you spent lost money on that. before. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. But that it's also, the colors are very pretty. But look oh, at the color. Oh, it's it's so, so pretty. Look at the skirt. Oh my god, it's gonna look like a princess. But the only thing is that uh, this doesn't have a train. It's gorgeous, but no train. I think Melanie wants to feel like the most beautiful girl in the room that day. So I'm really hoping that she finds that, that wow outfit here. This is more fitted on your hips. Um, it comes out. It I fit, don't like this. Wow yeah, factor. that has a wow factor. So this one's, again, a ball gown skirt. I don't think it's heavier. I would do this. I would start by trying this one. You are gravitated towards that. So let's start with that and see okay. what we think. Hi. My name is Zeno and Viju is my brother-in-law and Meryl is his fiance. I did have a very traditional Indian Christian upbringing. Our parents, at being Indian parents, they always wanted us to marry someone from the Indian culture. The bigger issue was the, the fact that she was not Christian as opposed to she was not Indian. Oh, wait till you see what she's putting on. Oh. It is gorgeous. I think you're gonna love it. Oh, good. It's gorgeous. I'm excited. Here she comes. Oh, that is gorgeous. Do you like it? Stunning. I thought it was exquisite. I thought it was, you know, a statement dress. Will you dance the horror in that? I think I could. I can handle it in this. Wait, wait. <laughs> You're not planning on wearing this for the wedding, right? It just isn't appropriate for a wedding. No, at least not for the bride. You can't this, wear black what do you mean? for our reception. What do you mean you can't wear? We don't wear black, we don't wear white to our weddings. They're like funeral colors. I was shut down. Okay, apparently I don't know. And the second problem <laughs> is that it's a langa. You oh. need to wear a sari. Really? Yeah. Wait a minute, black apparently is not to be worn. I get that, that's fine, but it was exquisite. What about our traditions? Why is it all what you guys want? Well, we just don't wear black. It's just it's just not respectful. I think that it took her a while to understand the reasoning behind why I couldn't wear the black. I really do feel that 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 our side, if if you will, is giving up a lot. A bride should not wear colors that you wear to a funeral. Reception? It's supposed to be the happiest day of your life. You should wear some bright colors, not black. So what should I wear? You don't want to wear a langa. 
because we there's traditions that we follow during the ceremony. We need to take out threads. So if you t can you can you take threads out of that? Oh, we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. It's so uncomfortable. It was so uncomfortable when the two of them were fighting back and forth. I'm like, here's my future sister-in-law. Here's my mother. What do I do? Let's, okay, let's let's, let's wait. Take a breather. Right. Let's look at some silk saris. <laughs> I think we just have different ideas. I'm thinking more traditional Indian. She's just thinking more. Um, you know, what looks nice. So should we shift gears to saris now? Maybe look at That's a few okay. saris. I guess I was overstepping a little bit, so. Okay, I took a step back. We Sounds. don't want to offend anyone. Yeah. Right. Let's listen to Sinel, mm -hmm. let's do it. Okay. okay. So it's a pure silk sari. I'm not loving the flowers on it. Okay. This color I like. I would try something like this. I don't like these stones. Okay. This is from our new collection. It's from a cut work collection. Wow. So all the beading. Like an iridescent. Cut out. Yes. The silk's iridescent. Did you see this? Cut borders. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh. gorgeous. Yeah. We're getting so much. So let's, <laughs> let's try this. Okay. okay. See how we feel. My wedding is literally around the corner. I mean, who finds a dress in sh such a short notice? This doesn't fit. The skirt and the top both Neither didn't fit? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm really scared because my reception is in a few days. It looked like it would be the perfect thing for her, but because it doesn't fit now, I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, let's Here put that go. away. Let's not waste any time. There was one outfit that just came in. It's all velvet. It's with a train. I feel a little more pressure. I feel a little more because somebody has screwed her over already. You're over careful and you're like, it should be even more perfect than what she expected. So this is a one-of-a-kind. It's an in-house design. It's all micro velvet. Oh my god, this is I'm beautiful. Can I please try this on? Did you want to look at more in this type of embroidery? No. No, I, I like fell in love with this, actually. Okay, try it on. So let's oh try that on. Mom, sit up. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, the color is gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, and the cut, the, the design, amazing. I thought it was beautiful. The work on it, everything, it was just perfect. What I loved about it was the border, that it was cut out and it had the right amount of bling. You like this better than the other one I tried? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. She was shocked herself that, that she actually liked it and that maybe I had a little inkling of what <laughs> what might look good on her daughter, actually. It's gorgeous, gorgeous on you. Beautiful. I Purple never thought. Is I could like Dunning. a color like this, but it's beautiful. Amazing. And it's not too ungulate. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that, that means. means. <laughs> that means bling. Okay. Not too much bling. Just the right no, amount. Yeah, Just perfect, the right though. amount. Yeah. I loved it. I loved everything about it. I love the color. I love the gold. I love the cutout. And I'm shocked at myself that I would love something with that kind of a color, but I'm obsessed. <laughs> And how does the fabric feel against your body? You know, it's really nice, smooth, it doesn't feel too heavy. Okay. I never thought I'd actually like a color like this, but I do. It's beautiful. So but this one with the top, with the petticoat, all the tailoring, it will be $12.50. That was a lot more, than, more than we wanted to spend. Yeah. It's way more. I wasn't expecting that, Meryl. Don't worry about the price so much. That's. On honestly, it's on the groom's side, so we'll Wait. be taken care of. In, in Jewish culture, does the the groom's parents pay for the bride's dress? Never happen. It's how we welcome you into the family. As a married woman, it's the first outfit you wear. That's beautiful. So, it's yeah. really more than nice. <laughs> With it being over budget, it made me feel even more uncomfortable. But Sino kept reassuring me that not to worry about the price. It was okay. Does Viju's mother need to see this? Well, yes. I mean, traditionally. Mom and dad should be here to okay. see it. So can we bring them back to see this? Of course, but we don't hold anything. Okay, so she could lose this. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, well, let's, let's go get something to eat. eat. No. Yep. Okay. okay. I really did feel bad when we were leaving the store because I understand when you fall in love with something and you just want it, you might not get it and it, we weren't able to put it on hold. But according to tradition, the groom's parents generally buy this reception sari for the bride. So that was fun, right? Yeah. That was fun. Did you enjoy yourself? I did. It was... <laughs> learned a lot. Yeah. yeah. You know, now that she finally saw something that she liked, yeah. loved, know. you know, what? Yeah. I loved it. You know what, let me, if you love it so much, let me just call. Okay. 
Call okay. them. Just, you know, let her know that they, we can't get another one like it. Right. So let me call them and see. Just okay. give me a minute. I'll be right. right back. Okay. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be, I guess. It was definitely scary, like five days before you're looking for an outfit. So when Shivangi pulled out the blue and the champagne one, I was just like, oh my god. Oh my god. It's perfect. That looks you really it's like it. It's gorgeous. You look like you look like a princess. Like it's so royal. It complements you so nicely. I was just in love with it. The work on there was bridal. It was flashy. I felt like this is the dress. I was just like, oh my god. Like it just looked like everything that she's ever wanted. Every picture she's ever showed me. It just all tied together. I'm actually really happy with it. I didn't think I was gonna find something. I didn't think either, Are you saying but... that just to settle? Melanie was a little more understated with her reaction, but when I repeatedly asked her if she was settling or not, she seemed like that was it. It's not what I originally wanted, but it's something better, I think. Before I get too excited, how much is this? So it's actually right under your price range. It's $24.95. Oh, so nice. The tailoring will be done in time? Yeah. I okay. mean, is there a choice? <laughs> no, we gotta I'm not really giving you a choice. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Yeah, but I just want to make sure you love it and you're not settling for it. No, yeah. I'm definitely loving this. The whole week was very hectic. Within that whole time frame, finding a new reception dress is insane. But I'm so glad that it's over and that I actually have the dress. Yay, we found the dress. <laughs> Less than five days. You accomplished the unaccomplishable. Is unaccomplishable even a word? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's get her started with tailoring. We'll figure out that <laughs> So? OK, oh ladies, so I talked to them. They really want to see the sari, though, before you buy it. So I don't. Just kidding. <laughs> no. no, they said if you guys love it. Really? And I said if, you know, like I saw it, so they trust us. We're going to go do this. Thank you for calling. Oh. I was glad that. I was able to make the call and they approved of it, so I was really happy that she was able to get it at the end of the day. They cannot come in, but they gave the okay. Oh, they did! So, Are you gonna take it? I think we're gonna take it. Yeah! Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think ultimately we all agreed and the sari is magnificent and she's going to look beautiful. I am so happy with the sari that I chose. It speaks to me, it's beautiful, it's a little edgy. I think it just makes everybody happy, so that makes me happy in the end. When I first saw the final dress, I was just in love with it. I actually felt like I found something better than I had originally picked out, so I was actually happier.